have changed the plastic wheel for the aluminum wheel. I was kind of afraid that the plastic wheel over time it would maybe explode or something like a CD at a high RPM. With aluminum that's not gonna happen. So that's really nice. Next step is to make a frame for the thing because it's not gonna be this. This is way too wobbly and it doesn't look good. So I've got these aluminum profiles. This strip is gonna be the bottom. Then with this strip I'm gonna make two sides for it and this is where I'm gonna mount the motor on. Let's do this. I have the plates all cut and they are coming together like this. This one's coming over here with a gap just larger than the playing card. This is where it will get launched. And these ones will form the side of the gun. The reinforcement, like this. And then this is where I mount the motor on over here. So this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna drill a whole lot of holes in the sides so I can screw it all together. Let's do this. the tool we're gonna use, the melty tool. I want to line these up very precise, so I have to very carefully line these up. And then I'm using these holes to mark the location so I can drill them. Now onto the next steps, the drive, the launcher motor is gonna, gonna sit over here. Mounting on this bracket. So I still need to make a groove in here for the wheel to go through and the mounting positions in this piece and in this piece as well. The other thing is for the cards, I've printed this magazine that comes in here. I think it fits like four or five packs of cards. And then in the bottom here is where the feeding wheel is gonna be. And that's gonna be this motor. With this wheel on it, I also printed this wheel. And the motor is going to sit in this bracket, like, like this. So that's really nice, but I need to mount it. And I'm going to mount it right over here. So in this button plate, I need to drill four holes where I can mount this. Also over here is where the bearings are going to mount. And I think I should drill some holes for that as well. So let's take it apart and do the tweaks. They're all nice and shiny, so let's put it together. I'm not gonna mount the drive wheel yet because I don't have the bearings for underneath. They will be here in a couple of days or in the video in a couple of minutes. But until then, we can test the feeding mechanism, which I'm really excited to test. So I have the motor, I have the mount, and it needs to come underneath here. So let's mount it. If I'm gonna mount the motor, I should probably put the pulley on the motor first. And I think quite a snug fit. But I have a trick for that. cool thing with this mount is that this axle is off center so if you turn it the wheel gets higher and if you turn it back the wheel goes lower that way I can set the angle where it hits the cards pretty neat let's 
Let's see if it works with the full deck. Not sure how it's gonna work out because normally the launcher will well, launch the cards. But let's see. I want to clarify something. For some reason when you make something like this and you're not the first one to do it, people feel the need to tell me that someone else has already done it. We don't do that with tables, do we? Anyway, I know that Mark Robo has made one. His video is awesome, his machine is awesome. So I just wanted to make my own version of it. And that's this one. Let's go on with the build. Dispensing multiple cards without this wheel turning doesn't really work because they would just get stuck under this wheel and then they would all jam up here because this wheel is not turning and not shooting them out. But in the meantime, my bearings have arrived. So I've printed this little holder where they fit in like this and I just need to make a little shaft that goes in between here that actually holds them like this. So off to the lathe. I've hooked it back up to the Arduino and the ESC and let's try if it works. First I'm going to try just the launcher mechanism to see if that works. If that works, I'm going to do the other stuff. I think I have to put the motor a little bit lower. It's just... The yeah, grip is just not there. Let's try it with the feeder mechanism. It's a bit scary. Look at how those cards come back. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's all bending. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is all basically the slowest setting it goes on right now. But I, one of the O-rings is loose so I cannot put it any faster. But damn it goes quick. I will have to glue the O-ring and then I can do some more testing. The basics of the feeder mechanism work, so that's really nice. I'm gonna make a couple of tweaks. The thing has now two O-rings and I'm gonna put three on it to just give it a little bit more potential to grip. And the canister that I had here had a gap that's slightly larger than the playing card. And my theory would be that then just perfect one playing card would go through it at a time. In reality, there was one playing card getting stuck every time. So now I'm just going to use the gap that's in here already, that's 0.8 millimeters, like two, three cards. And that just seems to work, so why make it any more complicated? But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to make the handle. So I have this 3D printed handle that I'm going to make on here. And the handle has basically two functions. I'm going to make it so that if, the, if you push the trigger a little bit, the front, the launcher wheel is going to spin up. And then if you push it further, the feeder wheel is gonna spin. So first you can give it some time for the launcher wheel to start spinning up and then you can just shoot it. I was thinking about making a single shot and a multiple shot mode, but why bother with single shot? Just multiple shots all the time. This is the handle part and this is the trigger of it. And the trigger goes in here like that. And the cool thing is that I made the trigger with this little spring on it and this spring makes that the trigger goes back really cool I don't need any additional components for that put it in here put the screw through the hinging point As you see the spring here moves the trigger back all the time super cool I want one switch that releases over there as soon as you push it a little bit and then one side switch all the way in the back there it connects if you push it all the way. So this first one sits all the way in there. It's hard to see. 
but as soon as you push this the button releases so I can tell the Arduino that as soon as this is pushed this one has to uh, spin up the motor and for this one that has to be all the way back there right in here even harder to see but right in between the gap here that just with this you push the button these switches need some time to dry in the meantime I'm gonna make some skills to cover up the sides I wired up the electronics and I made a couple of changes to it. I, well, all the electronics are in here in this nice little compartment. The ESC, the Arduino and all the other stuff. I have two LEDs over here that if you turn it on, two blue LEDs means we're good to go. And the red LED means the motor is turning, if you can tell already. Let's turn it off. This dial is to adjust the speed of this wheel. So you can adjust how fast the wheel is turning and how fast it shoots the card. Then here I have the compartment for the cards and I've added this little hinge with the, with the weights to press the cards down so it feeds one card at a time nicely. And then over here I have the battery. So let's test if it works. Let's try it. A bit faster. So for the target I thought maybe some styrene and at first I thought it would never be able to actually get stuck in the styrene but now I've seen how fast it goes and this was, it was not full speed but I haven't tried it at full speed yet but now I've seen how fast it goes I think this can be a nice target so make some rounds on it and then I have a target. I have the target over there, right next to the camera. I have the GoPro pointed at the target. So, let's do this. First tries. <laughs> Bit faster. Okay, I want to do one more test and then we're going to see how fast it goes. That's about one deck of cards.